Hello and welcome. Today's video is a little bit different from my normal card making. I'm actually going to be making a little frame to house a lot of my drops and different things that I use in my cards. So I'm sure you've got lots of these too and I hope you really enjoy this video as well. So as I said there, I'm going to show you through some of the, the drops that I have first of all. Lots and lots of these. So there are Nouveau drops and we've got crystal drops, glitter drops, jewel drops, shimmer powder, uh, dream drops, stone drops and then we've got the sprays. And I don't really want to talk too much about them at this stage because this this uh, video is actually more about the storage for them and the display of them. So I actually will have too many for the frame that I'm making but I want to show you this little piece of equipment as well. So this is from Tonic and it holds enough of your crystal drops and whatever that you can keep on your desk and I usually keep this one here just so that I can use whatever I have on hand for the projects that I have on my desk at the time and I'll usually change the drops in that every couple of days and this holds them upside down as you can see and then all of the product is in the tip and ready to use that's really really handy and I'm still going to be using that a lot that will always be on my desk but lots of these other drops have been kept inside plastic containers so that I can see inside them and see what's there but I'm not getting the full use out of them and they're certainly not being used to their full potential and they really really are lovely products. Don't forget to read everything that I've written down in the description below because that will have all the measurements it'll have everything you need to know but the frame that I'm using today is 67 centimeters by 52 so that is roughly 26 and a half inches by 20 and a half and then the strips of wood that I'm using as well are five centimetres, so that's two inches. And then I'll just get my tools out and get cracking here. And you can watch the progress along. Uh, I'll speed some of it up and then I'll stop every now and again and explain what I'm doing and go on. And then at the end, I hope you really, really like the display unit that I make for them. Before I go any further, don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, to do that and hit the notification bell and share it if you like but if you do enjoy this don't forget to give me a big thumbs up at the end and also to leave a little comment and let me know because obviously it's a little bit different and I may do one or two more videos of this kind if you enjoy them maybe some other things from about my craft room as well I've had this project in mind for absolutely ages and today I'm going to make a start on it I've got the frame and everything taken off that now but I had originally intended to put these pieces of wood in the back here hopefully I'll be able to show you this but I thought it would have fitted in here right into the recess if I turn this over maybe you could see it better and put the wood in around here and fit it into that groove and then I would have had it flush but I've just decided now that actually it would be better if I cut the wood to measure across the way here and cut it off just mark it exactly where that is there and cut it off and have it right out at the edges the whole way around uh, just butt the edges up because it's not going to take any great weight I don't need to miter it or anything but that means then that I'll have a little insert piece but it means that that will be sitting right down to the edge and some of these things then will be able to sl slot in here and that will actually hold those bigger bottles in and I'll actually get a little bit more space out of it so I think we'll go with that plan
gone ahead then and put the sides on as well and screwed them in at the back in exactly the same way as I did the top and bottom and now I have cut little shelves for in here and I've measured them across. I want to put some mica spray in at the bottom and those bottles are slightly larger than the other ones and I know that the frame lip will come up a little bit here and I need to leave a little area here so I can lift them in and out. So I've measured that and it's exactly 13 centimetres from the bottom of this shelf to the top of this one and that seems fine for right across there and I've marked that just top and bottom the whole way along there and divided the next piece off into two different shelves so they're slightly narrower than this one but that's just because the bigger bottles are going to go here and now all I need to do is go ahead I've already marked the screw holes in at the side here in the middle of all of those and a couple of them uh, are already uh, drilled through and I am going to screw all of, of those in. I've actually countersunk the screw holes a little bit so that the screws fit in and when I get all of those in uh, then everything will be fine but before I do that it's a much much easier job to go ahead and paint this. I wanted it all measured up first of all but that's only sitting there. I'm going to paint this first and paint my shelves. I've got the three of them here and that'll be much, much easier than trying to paint all of that whenever I've got these in. So the shelves are, everything's getting painted first and then it'll all go together. I'm going to keep the inside and all of this part white, I think, anyhow. And my new painted wall, newly painted wall is pale grey. And the curtains are uh, sort of grey and gold. Pale grey, light grey and a slightly darker shade and some gold. And I think I'll paint the frame in the gold or the grey to go along with that and then I'll just get those bottles in so I'm going to start painting now. While the paint on the box and the shelves is drying, I have got some chalk paint here and I'm going to paint this frame with it. So I've got this lovely grey and I'm using chalk paint because the beauty of chalk paint is that I don't have to prepare this at all, I don't have to sand it or anything. So there are a few blemishes in it here and I'm going to give it the first coat and then I'll put some fillers in those and then come back and sand that and give it a second coat and soon we'll be good to go. I've give that, given that a good mix up and I just want to give it a few coats of paint now. It might need one or two, but there it is. Isn't that a lovely shade of grey? So I've got all the fillers in now and I just need to let that dry and then I'll be able to sand it right back and have it nice and smooth again. So while that's drying I'll go and screw the shelves into the box because all that paint is dry now. And we can move on to the next stage.
this is all fully painted now and all ready to go. I've painted all around the sides here as well and filled in all the screw holes and bits and pieces along here, along all the edges. And now it's just ready to sort out the rest of these shelving pieces and attach the frame. Right, so to put these bottles on then, and we don't want them to fall off the front of the shelves, so I need a little lip on there. And you'll just need to get a little slip of wood and you can glue it along each of the shelves so that it just sits up and the bottles don't come off. Now I've actually had this out in the garage, but it works perfectly for this. And I'm going to glue it on here with silicone and then I'll put the frame on top. And I've cut it just a little bit short at the sides there so that the frame fits over the top. And it actually, I could paint this with the chalk paint that I've painted the frame with as well and blend it all in. But I really like the colour of that and I'm going to have multicoloured bottles in there. And I thought that would just break that up nicely. So we're going to go ahead and attach all of those. The shelves are all on now, so just some wood glue along this edge and then I can get the frame on. I've already got some on, so I've just got to touch in some bits here. Now, I've just got to put the frame on and then I will leave this aside until the glue grabs, until everything's hardened. And then I can just put some little things in on the back to some fixings to put this on the wall and we're good to go. Well, that's it all finished and I'm really happy. I see I've got one bottle missing up there, but that's because I've been using it since I had it up on the shelf. And that's actually the main reason why I put them up there so that I can have them to hand and use them and instead of having them in boxes where I don't see them and then I'd forget about them. If you have an old frame and you want to make yourself something like that, so a bit of storage for your drops or whatever, um, you can actually do it in different ways. You could do it the way I've done and cut the wood yourself or you could even get an old frame that has a box on the back of it already and just adapt that to your needs. But don't forget just to add a little lip across the front because it saves those bottles from dropping out if you ever accidentally bump into the shelf. Well, this is totally different from any of my other videos because I don't normally do DIY on video, although I really enjoy it. So if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment and let me know what you think of it down below. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, to do that and hit the notification bell. And that way you'll be able to keep up to date with lots more videos that are coming along. So thank you so, so much. In the meantime, all the best for now and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.